when we look at the kinds of spiritual evolution studies yep. that we're looking at, which yep. is different right. than mainstream, yes. how do you pull young people into that when they are already being indoctrinated by Christian leaders? Have you found something that is very successful? Yeah. Well, first of all, you're going to have to, first of all, I, I think that we, we, and I talked about this last night, I think that we're going to, we, we're going to wear ourselves thin in the mind frame or the mindset that we're trying to get a certain amount of people, a mass number of people. Uh, the African order never dealt on that particular level. Um, they dealt with the nucleus, a concentrated core. So um, I don't think this is going to be, like I said last night, it's not going to be a mass movement. It doesn't have to be. Because what we're talking about here, we're talking about the spirit world. The spirit world is different than the physical or the mundane world. The physical and the mundane world, you need mass numbers to get a certain ideology across, a certain structure across. Everybody needs their 15 minutes of fame to be shown. In the spirit world, is something totally different. We're dealing in the spirit world right now. Whereas uh, the ancient chemists, uh, the ancient Kamites, or ancient Africans understood that the group of priests ran the entire society. So now we know that the white people right now is a group of them that run the entire society. The laws that is passed that affect us is not based on uh, city government or nothing like that. So for us, it's based on a group of people in a room somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Now that's not necessarily bad. They take, they took that from the African concepts because they were taught that by the Moors. You see what I'm saying? And they understand that in actuality, that is the basic structure of the universe. The universe is run by the atom. Uh, your body is run by the cells. You see what I'm saying? You can have one cancer cell that can kill a whole person. You see, so it is always the small part. And you saw that on the movie um, um, Men in Black, where they had the little, they said that the universe was on Orion's neck and it was a little ball on the cat's neck. Right. And they were shaking the little dog and it was like, I don't understand how could a little universe be on the, you know, the cat's neck and the little dog was saying, you, you Americans or you Earthlings always think that things has to come, have to come in a big, uh, in a big package. Well, I think that this stuff, what we're talking about now is concentrated. I think that it's like Dr. John Henry Clark said before he died, the whole concept of this mass revolutionary is more romanticism. You see what I'm saying? More romanticism. And I think we've been taught to have these mass movements where we go out and we try to get a, a certain number of people. Two things happen. Number one, we find out that that can't happen. And we also find out that we get a whole bunch of people that we really don't need. And what I mean by that is um, some people just follow the crowd. And then when the new shit come in, <laughs> they will be with that. The good part about American society is they're going to make sure there's some new stuff coming every four months. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? At least every two or three years. So right now what we're talking about here, I don't think it's that much of a, of a need to, um, I don't think it's that much of a need to go out and get the mask. That's another thing we also have to break out, out of. Thinking in an actuality, because we always think we got to teach something to the kids. You don't need to rely on these goddamn kids to do nothing for you. This is another thing about children being the future. Children can damn well be your death. You know? You know? You know? You know, we're in hell already. So I think right now, I don't think that this is the type of thing where it's a mass movement to try to teach. So people, I think we fall beyond that. Now, I think right now it's got what I know for a fact that to pinpoint this thing and all is concentrated with the people who are enlightened. So I think that in actuality, to be honest with you now, now to ask your, ask, to, 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 to go around about way to ask your, answer your question about the youth. If you be honest with them, they don't have a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a problem if you just break it down on the least common denominator. But you gotta talk on their language. This shit is fucked up. They don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you come with some old Luke, Luke 49 and all that old stuff, they're like, you can get the hell off. <laughs> but you have to speak to them on the language. You see what I'm saying? 
Some of them are actually rebelling because you're trying to tell them to be docile when they want to really go and crack somebody else. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You telling them to be docile, that old Martin Luther King shit ain't washing no more. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and we can see that over and over again in the rap. They have been trying for the last eight years to give the people that Christian rap. But it just don't mesh. <laughs> this thing is built out of being hard, and it just just don't mesh. You see what I'm saying? So right there, so you talking about some people in the government? No, you talking about some killers, but they are incarnated as killers. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Now, in one aspect, we understand that we don't have time to go to war with the government on that thing. But we're talking about you can convert that into spiritual warriors, and I think that has a lot to do with it. But they don't like a person. They like a person to just be straight up with them. You see what I'm saying? Straight up with them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Pull out a joint and smoke it with them. Because you got to get out of this whole uh, holy than thou thing. That's right. Uh, if you ain't in a joint, you know what I'm saying? Come on, let's have a little drink. You 16, pull out a glass and all. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm just saying. You got to get out of this moralism because there's a reason why they are rebelling against this thing. No matter how much you teach them, they still got that same attitude. And it's almost like whenever you teach them to be docile, they like kill their spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. They ain't never no more good after that, no. You know what I'm saying? They like kill their spirit and stuff. So my point here is that energy has to be redirected. And you can redirect that energy by just being straight up with them. But you can't come with all this holy than thou moralistic stuff. You see what I'm saying? But, um, you know, because we always looking for some damn future. And so some people say, damn, Bobby, you don't pay taxes or whatever. I say, I don't make a damn nothing. I say, even if I did, I'll I tell the government I ain't paying shit. Um, uh, they say, you don't do that. What you going to do? You don't, you, don't, you don't work on Social Security. What you going to do when you get old? I say, shit, you, you, your Social Security ain't promising your ass either. <laughs> but I don't plan on getting old. The Egyptians say, foolish is the long lived. <laughs> foolish is the long lived. Damn if somebody gonna pin some plastic bag on my side, some shit stack. Find me some good poison and get the hell on off the earth. <laughs> Go out like a hero. You know what I'm saying? Why is it if it's when the Egyptians say foolish is the long lived, why is it that the best funerals are the ones when people die early? You think a person dying in their 50s, their 60s, their 40s, their 30s? The people at the funeral remember a certain era. They remember the music. They remember certain things. You could get a 90-year-old and shit. The only person be at the funeral, most of the people that, uh, of the 90-year-old of the is dead. So the people at the funeral don't even remember their era. See what I'm saying? That's why the Egyptians say foolish is the long live. It is the Lucian fields that you need to get to, which is this other paradise. 